This is the Digital Circuit Breaker Finder from Klein Tools. Here's the model number ET310. Now you get the receiver and you get the transmitter. Now you plug this into an outlet. This will tell you whether it's wired correctly. Also, it has a tester for your ground fault circuit interrupter uh, plugs. It'll test them. And this also acts as a transmitter. And this is your receiver. So you plug this into the outlet you want to check, see what, uh, what breaker is on. And then you'd run this across your, your panel, your breaker panel. You'd have to calibrate it first. And then the second time around, it will tell you, it'll beep, it'll tell you uh, what breaker that plug is plugged into. It comes with a 1.9 volt battery included. Bought this from Home Depot, 64.97. That's Canadian price. Here's the battery in the back of it. And you can get accessories for it. Here's a, a plug in there for your light socket. So you can check your light socket with breaker. That particular uh, light is on. So we'll check it out today. So let's open the package. we got our Fiskars Pro brand new blade in here. And see if we can get it open here. It's tough plastic here. That one piece didn't go through here. Put it in here. So hopefully get it opened up there. Tough plastic. There's a battery. Here's the booklet. Instructions. Here's the transmitter. And here's the receiver. So it, here's your manual, and it tells you all kinds of information, how it works, how it plugs in. It plugs into the uh, receiver, plugs into the receiver itself, so you can carry it. it. Talks about different things here. Talks about the accessories too, where you plug it into, a, say, a light fixture, and you can check it. Uh, you have to have an adapter from three prong to two prong that plugs into your twist into your light, and it talks about uh, a plug that checking. Uh, Working with uh, energized bare wires, well, that'd be dangerous. And here it talks all about this and uh, shows you where the compartment goes, where they put the battery in. It does come with a battery, nine volt battery. In the back of the receiver here, you can plug in the transmitter into here. Keep it in as one piece here. So, so to take that apart. You have to check your plugs here, that apart, and then you have to put the, the battery in here. And where's the battery go? Right here. There's a Phillips screw. You take that apart and put the battery in. Here's your battery compartment here. Looks like a number one Phillips here. And just loosen that off here. I think the screw stays inside. Pull it open. That's where your battery goes. The 9 volt battery comes with it. It has a protector on the top here. Take that sticker off here. Tough. Now you get that sticker removed, we can plug your battery into the unit. Tighten that screw up. Now we're ready to rock and roll. There. Put our transmitter in and we'll tell you whether it's wired correctly. The two lights shows that it's correctly wired here. So now we'll go down and check it on the breaker, which breaker it is. The transmitter is plugged in and we're going to see if we can find this breaker. So turn the receiver on. Just press the button to turn on. It'll flash green. Do you want you to what they say, learn the panel or calibrate your. So go down all the breakers. Let it do its thing. Learn the panel. And they suggest doing it a second time.
Breaker number six here. Just verify that again. Breaker number six. So we'll shut the power number six. Shut the power off this. So here's our plug. Shows no power. Either one of them. So we got the right breaker. You want to house a tester for your ground fault circuit interrupter plugs. And it'll test them out and uh, should have two lights here telling you that's correctly wired and we've got the, the two lights here correctly wired so we'll check the uh, GFCI tester here it trips it reset it here there it goes so this is the client tools circuit breaker kit now it comes with a couple things here's the model number 69411 two things in here this is a an adapter for this screws into your light. And this adapter from three prong to two prong because you have three prongs in your tester here. And then you have what they call, a, this is a circuit breaker finder. And it's on the back of it, it tells you what standard outlet, three prong, alligator clip adapter, and finds the correct breaker and bare wires, other exposed conductors. Now we're not gonna do that today. It's totally different from what we want. We wanted this adapter. Go to this adapter. That's what we want today. So we use our Fiskars Pro. I'm starting to like this utility knife. It's very sharp and uh, does the job here. Tough plastic for sure. These Fiskars Pro utility blades are very sharp. See how quickly it uh, cut the plastic here. Just the corners are kind of hard to uh, to cut through. So I have to cut the end off here too. But very sharp and. Uh, Makes a nice cut there. And still opening it up here, getting all the parts out. So there's three parts here the adapter, the two prong, the three prong, and the clip, the alligator clip. So our Fiskars Pro did the job today. So we're going to look at three three parts here. These two parts. And this is the one that you use on a live wire. We're not going to use that today. These are the two ones we're going to use. This goes into your light socket, plugs in your light socket. Now, because it's three prong, you need an adapter. There's your adapter here. Plug that into there. Then you plug your Klein into this. Your transmitter. Then you plug that into a light socket. And then you can check it on your panel what the breaker it is. This is our bathroom light and it'll take the bulb out and put that transmitter in there, turn the power off. And it shouldn't be too hot. And put her transmitter in now. So I already got the three prong to two prong to the socket here. Put it all the way in. Make sure it's tight. Turn the power back on. And there we have an open ground, which is typical in a light. So now we'll go down to our breaker panel and find which one it is. Turn the receiver on. And we'll scan the panel or learn the panel as it says in the instructions. Do it again. Number 27. I shut that breaker off. I right, shut this off. Here's our transmitter, and there's no power on it, so we got the right breaker. So this is the Klein Tools ET310 Digital Circuit Breaker Finder. This is the receiver. This is the transmitter, and you can store it in the transmitter here, and easy access here. Now, the other thing about I like about this is the transmitter tells you whether your wiring is correctly wired or not. That's a bonus. And it worked fairly well. I had two different uh, uh, breaker panels, an ITE and a, I think a Stablock one. Showed you two different panels uh, this would work on. And don't forget to get the adapter. This is for your light socket. So you twist this in. Then you have to have the adapter from 3-pin to 2-pin. So that you can use your transmitter 
and check your light lights out what breaker that is on so stay tuned uh, ring that bell and subscribe to my channel because there's more videos coming in the future i'd like to thank all my subscribers all my new subscribers thank you for subscribing to my channel if you watch this for the first time today please subscribe to my channel thanks for taking the time to watch the video today have a great day people